This is Farm Journal's Margie Fisher. Joining me is George McDonald. George, tell me where you're from and a little bit about your farming operation. I'm from Riddleton, Tennessee, uh, which is a uh, little farming community about 50 miles northeast of Nashville. Uh, our farming operation consists of corn, soybeans, wheat, strawberries, uh, sweet corn, and sod. And George, you like to uh, advocate for agriculture and that it's a sustainable industry. Tell me a little bit about how you apply those principles on your farm. Well, the thing we get into in farming today, sometimes we get so complacent of what we're doing that we forget to try to share those stories with local groups, whether it be a Rotarian uh, club, whether it be our Chamber of Commerce, or whether it be the larger picture of people in our urban areas. Uh, they can be our urban friends, but we've got to help educate them, we've got to involve them, and we've got to let them know what we're doing in agriculture, why we're doing it, how it will sustain our environment, how it will sustain our economy, and how it can be uh, socially sustainable also. And by doing this, it not only benefits them, but it benefits us too without having to explain what we do, why we do it, and for the reasons why we're doing it over and over again. And they can be our true supporters also. And George, you're pretty proud that included in your operation is some <coughs> historical significant property. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, our family's always been in the farming business. Our original home farm was in 1927 when my great granddaddy purchased that farm. And through the years, we've uh, bought more land, leased other properties, and uh, and a few years ago, we leased uh, the Hermitage. And the Hermitage is the property of uh, our past president, Andrew Jackson. We're very happy to be involved in that operation. We've tried to be uh, very sustainable in that, uh, those properties. Uh, it's been a learning curve not only for us, but for the uh, Hermitage folks also, the management of the Hermitage. But it's been a wonderful relationship that we've all learned things about each other. We've all been able to grow and we've both been able to benefit uh, from that relationship that we have with that property. And you were able to implement some technologies on that about 315 acres there at the Hermitage. How have those technologies been able for you to preserve the history of the property? Well, being located in an urban, in the middle of Nashville, basically, uh, what that's been able to do for us by using precision farming, we have been able to be more environmentally sensitive. We have not been over uh, applying pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers. We've been able to use what's been there. We have to be sensitive to our neighbors there to there. We have to watch out uh, when we're moving any soils. We have to be very sensitive to the archaeology part at the Hermitage. So the precision part doesn't work with the uh, archaeology part, but then again, if we have spots that we isolate on the properties that we need to be able to go back to those same spots, an operator can mark that on his monitor as, as a spot to go back to, and we can always let the folks at the Hermitage go back to those places to uh, investigate and see what they may be finding there. Well, George, thanks for sharing your story. Thank you very much. Enjoyed it.